Hello everyone, this is Jay. Um, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial today on this particular bracelet right here. Um, I'm calling it the V-Hitch just simply because of the V-shape and if you flip it around you can actually see the uh, I use the half hitch knot to create this bracelet. Um, I haven't seen this bracelet before. Um, if you have and if you know if of this bracelet having a different name please let me know in, in, uh, in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and get started before I do I just want to make note um, this bracelet that I'm holding in my hand it's the burnt orange and the gold um, this particular bracelet has four inner strands you can see two this two uh, going this way and two that way so this is four inner strands um, the one that I'm going to show you, uh, it's the exact same bracelet, however, um, this one is going to be done using two inner strands. And um, you're basically going to be saving yourself some cord if you use the two inner strand method. Um, they both look the same. The, uh, this one here is just going to be slightly wider than the two inner strand. I'm starting off with um, six and a half feet of red and I've got some let me see five and a half feet of uh, I believe they call this one gray it's not silver gray this is just gray so five and a half feet of gray and six and a half feet of red okay the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a uh, Solomon knot so we're actually gonna go right or left over the top doesn't really matter when you're first starting this off let's just start with the right going over the top under and then through the back like that and then you don't want to pull it tight all the way just yet because we're gonna run our gray cord we're going to run it in between and pull it through and you want everything to be you want to tighten everything up in the center so let's get everything centered that's about right and then let's pull this tight okay so we have our Solomon with our gray going over the top there and basically um, what we're going to be doing is kind of creating a cross pattern that's going to create the V pattern that you see. So, um, and you're only going to be working with two strands at a time. So, um, let's start off with the right top cord. We're going to go over the top. And we're going to be using the bottom cord on the left, which is the red. You're going to go under, just like that. Under the red, and then you're going to bring it back over the red and through the middle. And then you just pull it tight. See that? fairly easy so we use the right top cord tying it around the bottom right cord now you're gonna do the opposite you're gonna use the top left cord top left cord is gonna go under the bottom right cord just like that up over and through the middle pull the rest out that's what you should have just like that and then you're gonna pull tight pull it tight once you pull it tight you want to cinch it up just a little bit okay now all we're gonna be doing is alternating so it's gonna be that what that time it was the top left over the bottom right now it's gonna be the top right over the bottom left so it's top right goes over everything just like that under 
over and through. Just like that. Let me get this one out of the way. Y'all see that? Okay. And we pull it tight. Next, it's going to be the top left going over. And under the bottom right strand, over and through the middle. Just like that. And pull tight. Once you pull tight, you want to cinch it up and pull tight again. A couple more times, over, under the bottom, left, and through the middle. Just like that, pull tight. And once you get the rhythm going, you're gonna see how fast and easy it is to create this design. Top left, over the middle, down under. Just like that. See, we, you, can you can already see the V pattern that's forming. Top right, over, under the bottom, and through the middle just like that pull tight fairly easy and simple to achieve um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video finish up this bracelet and show you guys how I uh, how I finish it up remember we're going across so I'm going the top left is going across and crossing under the bottom right strand so it's like that and then I'm going to go down through the middle just like that okay here we are um, I went ahead and used my fid and I rather than doing the whole process of going uh, over over under and, across, and through the middle I just ran my last three cords down uh, through the middle inner strand so when you flip it around that's what you have left over so let me cut all these cords it's always nice to have a good pair of scissors and here we are then just get your regular Bic lighter or whatever you got I've got one of those jet lighters too but I have to keep refilling it so just you want to use the blue part of the flame just to melt the cords and what you also want to do is once you got it pretty melted you want to push down as much as possible because that plastic once it dries or once it gets hard it can have a tendency to scratch your wrist so you just want to be real careful that you have you can use the tip this part of the lighter or if you have some sort of flattening tool that works better just flatten it as much as possible. So there you have it. There's your bracelet. About eight and a half inches. Nice design. This one here is the four inner strands. This one is the two. You can see the difference in thickness. But they still look really nice. Either way, this one is going to save you cord. Obviously. So... Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, my channel is under my full name, which is Juan Lino Perez Jr. Um, my website that is under construction right now is paracordcreative.com. The next tutorial that I'm going to be bringing to you guys is going to be this bracelet right here. This is called the cross hitch. It's basically the hitch knot again. 
um, and this one has four inner strands and um, that's pretty much it this one is actually I believe to be an original design as well as the V hitch have not seen this one before the one the only thing closest to this that I've seen is called the Zawbar which is uh, it's Z A W B A R but it is tied different than this one so don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below thank you very much for watching appreciate it